Joining us now is Terry Lundgren, founder and CEO of TJL Advisors, former Macy's CEO and chairman, longtime retailer. Terry, what did we learn about the consumer this week? Well, the truth is, Sarah, about 70% of the retail, uh, retail retailers who uh, announced first quarter earnings it beat or, or met or beat uh, top line uh, expectations. Several of them missed the bottom line expectations, however, and they got crushed. And so I think the, the market is just waiting uh, for some sign that, that we're heading towards some negative news here. And we got it. We got it from uh, the big guys. And I, I, frankly, I was not expecting uh, the, the uh, shortfall in earnings from both uh, Walmart and Target. But I do, as I've digested all of this information for the last few days, it does appear to me that there still is consumer demand out there. The consumer is ready to spend. You still got four trillion dollars more versus pre-COVID in terms of savings. It is coming down, but there's money to be spent. Uh, so I'm somewhat optimistic still about certain categories uh, of the business returning with positive performance. Well, that's the key. What we what we learned from. These companies listening to their calls and, and digging into some of the sales numbers, Terry, is that she is shifting her spending away from discretionary items like TVs. We'll see what Best Buy shows next week and into staples because inflation is really starting to bite. And I think it took the market by surprise that that is happening now because all we were hearing was the consumer's in great shape. Things are going swimmingly. Right. Well, a couple of couple of detail notes here, and that is what we're all looking at is the aggregate of the of the quarter, February, March, April. Uh, February, March were, was actually fairly good. Um, the tail end of March weakened, and April was not not good at all. And I and I and there was clearly you know a weather impact. People don't like to talk about that. I didn't like to talk about it when I was running uh, companies. But the fact of the matter is, it does impact performance of of. of apparel uh, in particular. And so when, when it, you have the coldest March in April in the last 20 years, it definitely has an impact on sales. One. And so, but I've also All heard right. from the, those who are making mm -hmm. comments, Sarah, that May got better. And so, so is there starting to, to see that shift back for those other categories that didn't perform as well as you pointed out during COVID? The ones that did perform well, the home, home business, home office, furniture, you know, all those, all those subjects we know, electronics, um, we've got those now. And you know, so, yeah, so it's not happening what, anymore. What don't we have, you know? And, and obviously we haven't needed apparel except for maybe the waist up for the last couple of years. And, and I think that's still got an opportunity for an improvement when we do return to the office. And even if that's only three days a week. Yeah, not, not active wear, which actually I think hurt Kohl's yesterday. But anyway, Terry, just on the profit side of things, because that was, that was to your point, pretty worrisome for the street. And I think really surprised people, just the magnitude of the misses from some of these companies. You have led... Macy's and other retailers for, I don't know, how many years? Have you ever seen a, a cycle and challenges like this? This is a hard one. Um, I can tell you this. I spent an awful lot of my career focusing on the details of planning and uh, trying to get it right. And I would say to one buyer, okay, I, I'm, all, I, I'm all over you in your category. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's roll the dice. Let's take a, take a, a big move here and, and go forward. That doesn't mean everybody. I'm over here. I'm talking to this group. Not so much over here. And in fact, I'm planning you down. And so I, I've spent a lot of time focusing on those uh, those those details. And I'm seeing what I'm seeing out there is 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 this is a, one of the hardest times to actually plan performance by category that I've seen in my career. And so I think that's what's happening. I think some have planned better than others, um, but I think it's going to continue to be complicated um, planning for, and, and by the way, so the supply chain issue, which uh, you and I have talked about in the past, was difficult, obviously, and it was, it was in the news last year. Well, it takes about six months for that inventory to actually get pr produced and shipped and, and arrive into the store. So you're seeing that show up on the shelves, or as I said, not show up in some cases but on the shelves now, and that's another issue. That's going to continue because I think Shanghai is one of the yeah, biggest but... ports in the world and it's been sh basically out of business for months.